All right. Let me pay attention. Yeah, he's on console. He's on console, so. Okay, here we go. So JD said this is the, if I'm not mistaken, actually, let's just make sure JD, if you will, drop a message in here. I want to make sure that he is. Console replays can't be uploaded. Um, not the way that PC replays can, no. There's not an actual replay file on console. On PC, there's a file that I can share with somebody and they can drop it into their own game. Uh, but not, it doesn't work that way on console. All right, he's here, okay. So I think this is JD's very, very first game after the last replay review. Is that correct? Of course, Tardivo, of course. I'm happy to help anytime that I can. All right, and then let me... Uh... Okay, first game. Awesome. Great. We did a little camera check. See what's going on over there. And we... Look, we're six seconds in, and we're already reaping benefits. I take a look over to the left. I realize my teammate. What's up, Dark Place? I realize my teammate also went for boost. I check behind me one time. I realize there's an opponent there. So I got my head on a swivel. I'm aware of it. And I realize, once again, I look, and there's somebody coming for me. So I avoid it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderful. Just holding our ground. We check our teammates moving in. So I'm just going to hold our ground in the midfield. This is, this is great, man. This is really good. Remain an option. what that person's doing nice good speed Poke it to safety all right so we'll, we'll we'll go ahead and criticize this here all right so you're on 50 boosts and you've got you've got to clear away you bought some time you bought some space for your teammate uh, or for your team to kind of get into a better position or whatever else. But now, instead of using this 50 boost to chase this person up the wall in hopes of a demo, let's just use it to get back into position. If you want to grab this boost and then go this way, that's fine. Or if you want to rotate away from the play, that's fine too. I think you're okay either way. But right here, this is super wasteful for like no benefit. And so, what a okay, what an incredible spawn. We got very lucky that this spawned right as I drove over it. Uh, but that's just, that's super wasteful. For resources and a boost but it's also like you know what is what is this what does this do for your team right the other two on your team are having to hold their ground at the net they're having to be cautious and patient because you're making an aggressive play here are the, is he tweeting about it seek Back deep, got two teammates in front of me. <clears throat> Alright, so this is not this is not anything that you could have done different. But you see this teammate that is just kind of hesitant and like sticking around right here in the middle, they're not really doing anything. It'd be better if they just left, right? That would let you know if they try and then they can't and then they left. Um, but the best thing that you could do here is okay, I see them there, I see them there. Just try to space out, respect that uh, you know, they're still here. As, as uncomfortable and awkward as it is. There are no drops, Lorenzo. If there are drops on any Rocket League Twitch channel, I promise you it's going to say drops in the title. Unless it's RL Esports. All right. Well, strike two. Yeah, you're out. Thank you. So annoying. What's up, George? All right. Nice. Apply some pressure. I like... Okay, so I, even though you jumped and it like it kind of carried you down the field a little bit, I like that you didn't dodge. 
if you dodge forward, it's just gonna it's gonna take you further out of the play. Obviously, we missed the boost here. You know, that's whatever. It happens. Good idea. Still got 80 in the tank. 90, really. Keep it to safety. Beautiful. Pop it to the corner. Wonderful. Pull in to the third man. Allow uh, you know allow your team to move forward. One thing that we all need to consider here, man, this is so good, dude. JD, the looking around, the, the surveying of the field is fantastic. I see a huge improvement from last time. Um, but one thing that I want to I want to mention here for all of us is like, a lot of what we talk about when we're looking at these replays is oriented for solo queuing the ranked ladder. That's why it's so focused on awareness because you're just like, you have an idea of what your teammates should do, and and we can all relate. We know that they don't do that very often. A lot of times they do all kinds of crazy stuff, and so that's why I always push so hard for like, you got to know where your teammates are, you got to know what they're doing, know what their movement is, uh, because if you don't see it and you're assuming and you're guessing, you're gonna guess wrong, 100%. Great work, good recoveries here while we're getting bumped. Great work. I'm alert. I hope you have fun. Thank you, George. I appreciate it, man. Got to figure out a way that everyone, every time someone asks for a drop, an item in their inventory gets deleted. <laughs> that would be great. That would be actually, that'd be actually so great. Uh, yeah, Flamey P, that should be fine. I don't know how beneficial it will be at hour 18, but yeah, it sounds good, Shock. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all hanging out. The read, nice. Let's go, JD. That's all possible because of good, uh, good boost management and good positioning. Nice, good. Prioritize that first touch. <clears throat> That's all right. Okay, hold on. You told me how to say this. TMO? Is that right? TMO? Yeah, you can send send me your Steam link, the Steam URL. Send that to me in a Twitch whisper, and I'll I'll, I'll get it. Uh, I'll get it probably tomorrow. I say probably because I also may be like dead tomorrow. What rank is this? I think champ one. Champ two. There we go. The field awareness, dude. JD, seriously, you look like a, a totally different player. I like this. We want to control. Beautiful. The execution will improve. The execution will improve, okay? That is part of it. It's just part of the learning curve. I love this decision. The decision is what we want to focus on. I got all three blue players, like, leaving. They're going away from me. They're not even challenging me. So you decide to catch, bro. That's awesome. That's awesome. And, and yeah, actually, that's what Jar is saying. Like, free play will get you to GC. Uh... But I, I love this decision. I got some space. I got some time. I'm going to go ahead and catch it, control it. And, you know, I'm talking about how mechanics will improve. Execution will improve. Um, e even now, with our current level of, of mechanical ability, you're still outplaying. I mean, you're still catching and outplaying one. And that control allows your team to get back into position for defense, even if you do fail. So that's really nice. That's good stuff. Tend to stay back as third unless someone camping in net. That way I can get familiar with the play style. That's a good idea early on in the game. Early on in the game, if you can get an idea of, of what your teammates are going to do, it's definitely going to help you out long term. Nice, JD. Nice. I think that that will definitely help you out with reads in the air. It will definitely help out. So this is something right here. We're seeing the only tendency right now that I have any type of complaint about is our just our our willingness to use boost when it's not really like critical that I do like it is not important that you go from right here to right here super fast right like it is not important that I travel from there to there and I get there as quick as possible that's not very important so instead of using boost why don't I just hold on to that 24 that I picked up why don't I pick up 36 48 as I head as I head back now again we get very fortunate with that 100 boost that spawns but that's the only thing that I can see right now Great patience right here. That's fine. Of course, we'd like to challenge the ball, but sometimes you just can't move forward because your teammates are in positions where it's not smart to move forward. Not bad. There we go. Use that boost and we get back. Nice. Good 
Good. We're on the pads. Wonderful. Dipping into the net. Slowly moving forward. Finding our teammates. Positioned in case they don't make a play. Nice. Make it difficult for the opponents. Really good stuff, man. This is seriously, this is really good. Yeah, the hunters love JD. That's, that's twice now where it hasn't been there as soon as he rolls over it. Hey, better settle down. The cats are starting to get amped up. Nap time is over. All right. Great patience. Really good idea. Really good idea. <laughs> yeah, the boost timer god. Really good idea. Right there, we let my teammate, we let that challenge happen. We look to control, look to flick. Now, here's something that I really like that I think is important here, okay? All right, so originally, you swing to the outside of the ball, right? So if there's a challenge, which there's not, you can see, but if there's a challenge coming from this side and you're on the outside of the ball, where is it gonna squirt? It's gonna squirt this direction, right? Which is bad news, all right? So you look to pick it up, but immediately, immediately you cross from the outside to the inside. And this is what we call goal side. The ball cannot travel through your car. So if you're goal side, AKA in the shooting lane, they can't score. These cats. All right. Uh, so anyways, goal side. Yeah, goal side, goal side, goal side. On the dribble, good that you go from left to right and get in between the ball and the goal. Can't get the flick, but that's okay. Right now, it doesn't matter. Good, use the pads. Make sure we're back on defense. Wonderful clear. Now we see it again. So as soon as you clear this ball, JD, as soon as you clear this ball, you have 15 in the tank, and the ball is over the head of every blue player. The other one's back here, and you've cleared it over their head. I have 13 seconds left, and I have 16 or 15 in the tank. What, what should I do? Should I A, use the 15 boost and jet up the field? B, save the 15 boost and maybe just walk and collect a couple pads? Or C, Use the boost to get back and maybe cover more, uh, you know, get up, pick up more boost and get into a, a, a safe, comfortable position. I actually think B or C is probably fine, but we don't want to do A. There's no reason for me to use the little bit of boost that I do have and move up the field because, well, I've already cleared it over their head. And so you see, you drain your tank and then move yourself up the field. Now you got zero. You're looking for some boost, looking for some boost. Now I'm finally back up to 50, 60, and I'm comfortable. And so you get there, but you went through option A first, which is like, fortunately, it didn't hurt us, but it definitely could have if, if my teammates, or excuse me, if my opponents were a little bit more effective on defense and like transitioning back into offense, if they hadn't, if they hadn't overextended forwards, right? Um, so if there was somebody back there that could clear it back to us, then it, it, it would be, it would cause us problems. So, uh, dude. Absolutely insane progress. 
from the first one to this one, I feel like there was like very little to critique. Um, and the only things that we really critiqued was mostly just boost. There are times where you're, you're using it in moments where it's not like, it's not urgent to, to travel quickly. It's not urgent to accelerate. And so if you'll just hold on to your boost in those moments, I think you'll actually be wonderful. What? Bruh. Duke, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the one get the sub. Appreciate it, man. Steve Plays. Thank you so much. Why did the subs reset? Uh, I have no idea. Let me see if I can refresh it. <laughs> 